Welcome back to the Roadside Rescue YouTube channel. I'm Ernest and this afternoon we've got emergency call out for a vehicle. It's having some brake issues. It's a Subaru. Um, the kid's not exactly sure what's going on with it. He has some parts that he wants replaced but something's going on with the calipers. They're either leaking or he couldn't get them off or something. It wasn't very clear. Uh, but regardless, we're going to head over here and take care of whatever he has. Uh, if he's got uh, rotors and stuff ready to replace, we'll replace those as well. And I think uh, he wants everything bled as well. So should be a pretty uh, good little job. We'll head over there and uh, get it figured out and back on the road for him. So, so here we go. All right, so we just got here. It's a yeah, just a Subaru Impreza. Um, the other thing that I wasn't sure about is just a lug nut. Uh, two of the lug nuts had been replaced. I mean studs, sorry. So two of the studs have been replaced and they couldn't get them pulled all the way through. So I'm gonna pull that through with my impact all the way and get them tightened down. And uh, we're gonna bleed the brakes. That's the only other thing we have to do. So I'm gonna use my favorite uh, gravity method with a pedal assist. I'm gonna pump it while I bleed that. And I'll show you how that looks in a minute. So we'll hop out here, get them bled, and that'll do it. I will we'll pull that stud, but that should be pretty quick. What I'm gonna use is this bottle, which I use to gravity bleed. Again, it's kind of an assisted gravity bleed because I'm gonna pump the pedal to push that fluid through. Um, so we're gonna start with the tire that's the furthest away from the reservoir, which is this rear passenger tire. And uh, we'll get this going. So I'll set it up and show you what it looks like. All right, so I've got this reservoir filled up to the tippy top since I'm gonna be pulling the fluid. And uh, we'll start in that back. I'm going to set up that bleeder and uh, we'll show you what it looks like down there. All right, so I've got the bottle here set up for the gravity bleed. And uh, as long as this hose goes in an upwards direction, that air won't go back in. So I'm going to pump that pedal a few times. Uh, the fluid's already pretty, pretty clear, so I'll probably just be a little excessive. Maybe rather than pump it five times, I'll pump it seven or eight just to make sure we've got clear fluid all the way through the lines. After I wait for a minute for this to start going, and you can see on this side, right on top of the caliper there, it's creeping as well. So we'll go ahead and pump it and uh, check back once we do that. Okay, we'll check over here now. That's got a lot of fluid in there, so I'm going to wait a few more minutes and uh, just watch, make sure that we don't have any air coming out still, and then we'll close it up and go to the other side. All right, here's that rear passenger side, I mean the rear driver side. I've just got that bled. It looks good, no bubbles, so we're going to go ahead and close this off and move up to the front. All right, so we just got all the, t all the brakes bled. I'm going to clean them off with brake cleaner, make sure we didn't get any brake fluid on these nice new red calipers and we're gonna pull this lug in here uh, this stud and uh, that should about do it so I'm gonna get it running with this impact and then I'll torque it down after that all right that was a success a job well done it is kind of going all the way to the floor okay let me see All right, so we just got done over here. I got those lugs pulled all the way through. Um, the interesting thing was bleeding those brakes and unfortunately I didn't get a video of it because it got kind of long. I think I've been out here for probably about an additional hour uh, bleeding those brakes. What happened was um, the girl whose vehicle it is, I had her out here helping and uh, it just felt really soft to her. And so I just kept bleeding them and bleeding them several times around and finally I'm like, I'm not getting any air out of these. I went up there and checked and it felt, it felt okay to me. So it may have just been the new calipers or something uh, since she replaced the calipers. It may have been the new calipers that just felt a little different than original. And I just never thought to go up there and check. So um, no fault of anybody's, I, uh, I just never checked on it. So uh, it went kind of long, but it's good to go. Um, I've, I've triple checked it. Those brakes are nice and stiff. So 
uh, it's a job well done. We're going to head home now and uh, call it an afternoon. And that's a, it's a good one for the books.